From every human being, there rises a light that reaches straight to heaven. And when two souls that are destined to be together find each other, their streams of light flow together, and a single brighter light flows from their united being. Well, the two of you are certainly beaming right now. And well, you should be beaming because it is not every day that two special people like you share your love with all of us, bringing new light into all of the lives that surround you. I first met Kobe in 1988. It was a cold, Russian winter, for a four-year-old, I was very excited to become an older brother. That excitement lasted about two days, <laughs> at which point I suggested we should take him back to the hospital and get a refund. <laughs> when Kobe commits to something, which is very, very painful to get him to do. He dedicates himself 100%. So the fact that he has chosen Emily as a partner and a friend, I'm confident that this marriage and love will be no different. For one human being to love another human being, that is perhaps the most difficult task that has been entrusted to us. The ultimate task, the final test and proof for which all other work is merely preparation. Your love has brought all of these people here today to fulfill the Jewish commandment to celebrate with bride and groom. Even though Emily's parents are not longer with us, I'm sure they see you from heaven and bless just as we do. You're a living legacy of the absolute best of both of your parents. Two angels who are most certainly beaming over tonight with absolute pride and joy. The fragility of the glass suggests the fragility of human relationships. The glass is broken to protect this marriage with the implied prayer, as this glass shatters, so may your marriage never break. Mazel tov! For what it's worth, Emily saw his Kobe beat on the humor front, but he's way better with money than she is. So I think that will evens it all out. I'm sure Kobe will never stop searching for the next adventurous shortcut to take, but as long as you continue to laugh about it, I think you'll be okay. I'm beyond delighted that you two have found each other and so, so grateful to count you both as dear friends. Here's to many, many years of happiness, abundance, and unbridled joy. Mr. Kobe Robb and Dr. Emily Simon Robb, you may kiss the bride.